Hey guys, welcome back to Survival Commands. It is episode 7, and I'm on my way to get back to the Witch Hut project that we've been working on. In the last episode, we made a pretty much functional witch farm, and in today's episode, we're going to be making the storage system for it. Now, I'm not just going to do a bulk storage, I actually want to sort the items out, but that means that we need to make a sorting system. So, we're going to start off by doing that, and I'll meet you over there. I made some progress in between episodes, not a whole lot, but here is basically what our storage room is going to look like, for the most part. What we have, we'll have a chest of each type right here, and then we have the bulk storage thing behind it, and we might add some lamps to um, indicate how full it is. But that's the general idea, and we don't need to do that as of yet, but we probably will at some time. Anyway, I need to make a sorting system as of right now. This is what the bulk storage will probably look like, just a general tower like this. But the start, the, the first thing I need to do is actually to get the items from here to my sorter. So I could just put like a hopper chain down, but this is literally all the iron I have left. And, well, there's a survival command. As you guys know, we're going to use commands. Alright, so step one is to make the tower a lot taller. So I did that. The cobblestone obviously represents hoppers. I do not have that many hoppers, though. So this is just going to be cobblestone for now. I'll make it into hoppers someday. But as of right now, not hoppers. Next, we're going to make the, um, where, like, the items actually come in. So, I'm going to start off with a little platform right here, then we can start doing that. So, I started making another tower. Um, I ran out of chest, but you can see it. And this is actually where our items are going to go. Now, if you didn't know, say that I were to do um, a teleport command, um, like this. So if I do um, tp admin, so I would go 1804, then 201, and then negative 785. This is actually really useful information. If I teleport here, oops, I need it to be up by one more. But you can see it does not teleport me to exactly where I went. I wanted to go. You can see I actually got teleported to the point 0.5 of these, even though I didn't specify point 0.5 down here. So if I were to do point 0.5 for each of these, it would be the exact, It. I thought it would be the exact same. But anyway, what we see from this is that is, if we just go like 18.04, that's different than 1804.0, which I'm not actually sure will, where it will teleport me to. Yeah, okay, 1804.0 would be this corner, and then... Okay. So I want 1804.0, and then 1706.0, that, no, 180, okay, 1805.0, and that puts me right in the center here. And that means the the mob, or the items that are dropped, can be picked up by all four of these hoppers. Where, where did it go? Oh, it should be... Yeah, it's in this hopper right here. So, if we put all the items right at, again, this location, then we have four hoppers to pick them up instead of two. That way, we probably won't ever get too many items coming through. So now I need to jump down from here, put in a teleport command, but also probably finish up the chest for this and outfit some hoppers going through, then I need to add a sorting system. So I'm going to be back in a little bit of time. 
just getting some more wood, but I wanted to just talk about something for a second. Um, when I end up playing Minecraft, I find that sometimes the task that you have to do, like right now I'm just cutting down a tree, it's a little boring at times, right? I'm sure you've all been there where, oh, I need to mine out this big room, or oh, I need to collect some items. But I found that it's best to keep yourself from getting bored to just listen to some music while you play. So that's what I'm doing right now, and it's pretty good. But um, if you're looking for some music, I have on my channel a pretty cool playlist where I just got together all my favorite Minecraft parodies, and then you can just listen to them all there. I'm sure other people have lists like this also, but this is just my personal favorites. Um, so yeah, that's what I do when, um, yeah, when I'm doing stuff like this. And if you're wanting to do something like that, feel free to take this shameless plug and, yeah, listen to, listen to the parodies in my playlist. Alright, time to get a lot of work done. Alright, I have the sorting system in place. It's not done. But it's in place. And you can see we have redstone coming down here right now. Still a lot more up above, but we have massive storage for redstone. And then there's glowstone, then other stuff. So now the main thing, I'm using like all of my iron, all of it. It's kind of ridiculous. But, yeah, I've made some pretty good progress, I think. Anyway, so we have glowstone next. It's really hard to place this stuff in, though. But, um, oh yeah, and if you stand too close to this thing, you end up picking some of the stuff up. Anyway, we simply just have, like, a little line that goes along here. And we just can sort out the different things we want to. And I realized I actually forgot spider eyes. Yeah, so I'm going to have to make their own little thing for that. But the sorting system is working. I'll probably, because I don't really need spider eyes for anything, I might just spit them all out. I really don't know. Or I might just add, well... I'm guessing I should just add an incinerator setup because I don't know, I don't really need spider eyes and um, well that way it won't overflow, but yeah, each of these are um, overflow protected sort of, I mean they're not next to each other, but if um, yeah it cannot overflow. Well, no, it can overflow, it cannot um, break once it overflows. So, I'm back here at the base, because, well, we ran out of iron, like, big time. Completely out of iron. So, I'm here with you-know-who. He's going and getting some more iron, but while he's doing that, I'm going to dig out a little room for a project that we're going to be making. So, I'll be back in a moment when this is actually somewhat dug out. Wait, but actually, do you hear that? Wait, I think I hear some music. You know what that means, it's time for a time lapse. actually going to be an AFK fishing farm. Now you've probably seen some YouTubers making these in their 1.9 Let's Plays. That is because they are completely OP. And we need to get our hands on that OP-ness. Alright, the fishing farm is built. 
we modified the design to be cheaper, so we done it. Basically, we just didn't build the um, auto fisher fishing rod refill station thingy, and we just caught a clownfish. No, salmon. A raw salmon. Cool. So yeah, this thing is working. I'm going to have to micromanage it for a while till I actually get a good fishing rod out of it. But I quickly want to actually talk about why it's OP. And that was rod and flesh, wasn't it? That was rod and flesh. The reason why fishing farms are OP now, when you catch a fish, you end up getting a little bit of XP. And one of the things you can get from fishing is a mending fishing rod. So now, what does mending do? Mending makes your fishing rod repair if you get XP. Meaning you actually, if you have an unbreaking 3 mending fishing rod, you'll actually gain XP with your fishing rod never losing any durability. This is really awesome, because then we can actually fish for days. And that was an enchanted book. Blast protection for Frostwalker 2. Wow, Frostwalker, finally! Yeah. I've been wanting that like since they added it. Not it's mine! <laughs> no! So yeah, this is our fishing farm. You can't really see it very well from where I'm standing. But it works really nicely. Here, I'll go into F5. Um, what are you doing? Nothing. Well, eight hours of fishing later, I actually have some bad news for you. Yeah, well, turns out, here, um, it turns out if you don't build a door and you have a little hole right here, that mobs, I don't have a jump key set, that mobs can come in here and um, kill you when you're AFK. So, I lost my diamond pickaxes, and I'm really sad, but on the bright side, I do have this. Let me quickly change my controls. Um, I just reset that. Reset. There. If we look in here, we have loads of fish. Fish for days. And what else do we got? That was not proper grammar. Let's try that again. What else do we have in here? Um, look at this. We have powerful bows. Like, look at this. These have infinity on them. And look what this one has on it. I have a power four, mending one, unbreaking three bow. And I also have a... Where is it? Um, one of these has power for infinity on it, and that one's going to be a great bow. Then there's, I have a flame one, and yeah, it's going to be really awesome, but mending is amazing. Anyway, what else did I get? I got a ton of books. Not... I didn't really get any amazing ones. I mean, like, this is awesome. That's seriously awesome. Um, Frost Rocker's pretty good. Feather Falling's pretty good. Protection 4, that's awesome. Thorns, pretty good. Power 4, I might just put that on my bow. Lure, don't need it. Um, Frost Walker. And that, that one's pretty good for a sword. Loads of saddles. I mean, I got a ridiculous amount of saddles. I can get like a thousand horses. And I got in this awesome, amazing fishing rod. This is the best possible fishing rod you can have. But as you can see, I am lacking three pickaxes, like I said. So I'm going to need to fix that problem at some point. Luckily, um, you know who and I did a lot of mining last night, so we have the diamonds. But I need to be more careful in the future. And six more hours of AFK has gotten me this. Yay, woohoo, a diamond pickaxe. 
I didn't even make this diamond pickaxe too. I already had it. This is one of the I'm breaking three efficiency four fortune three pickaxes that I had lying around. Now you might remember that one had damage on it, so what's up with this? That's right. Efficiency five, fortune three, unbreaking three, mending diamond pickaxe. Took forever, but I fished up a book that had mending on it. Um, I obviously already used it, but I'm like uber happy now because this pickaxe will basically never break. Because say that you go like strip mining with it or whatever, and then you take off your pants. I, I mean, um, not that kind of strip mining. And, um, yeah, so you go mining, and just the ores that you find will actually end up repairing your pickaxe. So I'm like super happy. Super, super happy. Anyway, also, this bow, it's pretty good. It has mending on it, power four, I'm breaking three, but I can make it better. Um... Oh yeah, and I caught a ridiculous amount of fish. That's going to be the solution to our food problem for quite some time. There's just a crazy amount of them. Yep, we're going to be eating puffer fish. Yeah, wait. I mean, cooked fish. Yeah, not puffer fish. Anyway, and here are a ton of bows. I'm going to go through them, find out, well, find the ones that I want. Like, um, there's an infinity one. I'm going to end up sorting them. There's another affinity. Because I want infinity on my bow. But I also want some other things. So there's just a plain infinity. That's really good. Um, it's already on breaking three. So I need another power four. Hey, that's a pretty good bow too. But anyway, I'll do this off camera. Because you guys don't really need to see it. Ooh, that's a good one. Alright, I got it. I used quite a lot of XP for it. But there we go, now we have power 5, infinity, and flame. Awesome. So this bow is truly killer. You can see we get flamey arrows that I can't pick up, and I can repair it. So this bow will basically last forever. Yeah, and it doesn't use my arrows, so... I mean, that's not really that much of a problem, because we have our mob farm up there. But it's nice not to have to carry around a whole bunch of arrows. Anyway, let's see what we can do next. Well, actually, I think that is basically going to sum up the episode. We got a new diamond pick. Lost three diamond picks. I'm still bummed about that. We got a, a, my, an amazing bow, an amazing fishing rod. Not this one. Um, we made an epic fishing farm. Got a ridiculous amount of stuff from that. Like fish. And bows and fishing rods, and books, and saddles, and random junk that no one cares about except name tags. So yeah, I spent probably 20 hours or so just AFK at this thing, and this is what I got. Pretty happy about it, I hope you guys are too. If you liked the episode, make sure to leave a like, I spent a ton more time on this episode than normal. Normally it'll only take about 5 hours or 10 hours to make. This one, like I said, has about 20 hours of AFKing in it, thus making it take about 25 hours or so to make. This was done over about a week or so, but one last thing to say, we are running on 1.9. Anyway, that does it for me. Thanks so much for watching.